Wow, we are at Neef 2019. Have you ever seen so many space nerds in the same place at the same time? I'm with my people. Hi, my name is Dylan O'Donnell from Team Celestron. We're at the Celestron booth for Neef 2019, which is decorated by my photo Karina back there. And uh, I'd like to show you a few of the updates we have today, particularly the Celestron PWI Plane Wave Interface software, which has some great new updates. And we'll show you the Rasa lineup, of course, which is a huge favorite. So come along. So controlling your Celestron telescope has always been something that you traditionally do with a hand controller. But since the PWI software came out, it meant that you can control the mount and the telescope with software itself. This is particularly good for observatories and at, it's usually been something that was targeted at the higher level scopes and things like the CGX mount. But now we can see that the software this year has been updated to support anything in the Celestron lineup with a hand controller. I'm talking Nexstar, I'm talking Astrofires, anything that Celestron has with a hand controller can now be controlled by the computer. This means that instead of just doing a straight alignment with the hand controller, you can do a multi-point model of the sky, which makes the sky pointing model so much more accurate. And it means that your go-tos will be super precise. So there's a few different ways you can actually connect to PWI. It can be with a USB cable, it can be direct through the hand controller, or it can be with a Wi-Fi. So it really supports the whole range of Celestron telescopes and mounts now. Uh, it supports the star sense accessory, so you can do the automatic alignment of the sky and you can do that manually as well. And the all-star polar align, and it has support for the focus motor now as well. And of course, all of this is ASCOM compliant, so it just, everything is just gonna work. And this, of course, is the RASA 36, which is a 790 millimeter focal length F2 telescope. The 36 centimeters, of course, stands for 14 inches. It is a massive, massive telescope. So you can do distant galaxies, but it's also being used in professional observatories to do space debris tracking and stuff like this. This will be a perfect thing for tracking asteroids and searching for comets and stuff like that. And it's the only raster I don't have. I'm still working on the Celestron guys on that one. And this, of course, is the RASA 11 inch, that 620 millimeter focal length and f2.2. It's the one I have at home and one I really recommend if the budget allows it. Of course, if the budget doesn't allow it, there is the smaller RASA 8. The RASA 8 is also f2, uh, but we're shooting at 400 millimeters now. So it's a wider field of view, and it's really designed for the one-shot color cameras up the top here. But this is one that I have now at home as well, and I am quickly falling in love with this. It's much more portable, it's lightweight, and I can see why this is a hugely popular telescope. And of course, the Celestron XYZ, which was introduced at the last NEF and has proven to be a hugely popular product. I've got one of these at home and I use it actually all the time. Even though I'm sort of up there with amateur astronomy, this is great for just putting on to not just telescopes, but binoculars and microscopes as well. It's three axis, totally adjustable. And it's got really fine controls so we can get right in there to get the shot that we want in and out. Super easy. And so over here, we have a new seven inch Mac and to talk to us about it is Robert Rees from Team Celestron. How are you, Robert? Doing good. Fantastic. Can you tell us a little bit about the new seven inch Mac? Well, it's primarily designed as a lunar and planetary telescope. Uh, being a Mac Sudov design, it's inherently long focal length, which is what we want for lunar and planetary. We're going for maximum detail not huge light gathering ability like we do for deep sky. So the Max Sudov design also is, has increased image contrast, which really puts extra pop in my moon pictures. 
And what I really like about it is, because it is a Max Udall design, there's no collimation issues with the secondary mirror. It's an absolute bulletproof telescope. You just aim it, focus it, and go. Brilliant. Thanks very much, Robert. Thank you. Well, that's Neef done again for this year. So that's me done, and I am off back to Australia. Take care.